Back with another video for you today, and today's video is all about J.F. Schwarzlaws of Berlin's Leader 6. Comes in a box like this, we're going to do an unpackaging, but we're also going to review it as I've been wearing it in a 10 mil like this. You're going to have a chance at winning one of these 10 mils, three prizes total, plus you'll have another three chances, and I'll announce all of that coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and or you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And several months ago, I did a first impressions video for J.F. Schwarzlaws of Berlin's fragrances. And one of the fragrances in the collection that I did first impressions of was for Liter 6, like this. So Liter 6 was launched in 2015. The perfumer behind the fragrance, and most of the fragrances in the house of J.F. Schwarzlaws of Berlin is Veronique Nyberg. It comes in a 50 mil like this for $160. And the notes for Liter 6 are at the top, you've got Osmanthus, Saffron, and Leather. In the heart, you've got Milk and Vanilla. In the base, you've got Incense and Styrax. So if you don't know what Liter means, Leader in German means leather, so this basically means leader six or leather six. So let's go ahead and open this up. As you can see, leather, it's kind of fetishy, the, the artwork here. A bit on the risque side, and of course, you know, leather is of course associated with fetish and that kind of stuff. And the fragrance is all about leather, and we'll talk about this fragrance as soon as we open this box. But let's go ahead and do that. So as you can see, this was a sleeve for the, um, the fragrance box, and it just basically comes off and... There you have the J.F. Schwarzlaws of Berlin logo on the front there. And it's a 50 ml bottle, so it's a pretty compact box, as you can see. Um, here are the logo on the top. And of course, there's uh, some kind of a logo in the back as well with some information. And here it says Leader 6, so Leather 6. Let's go ahead and open this up. So, as soon as you open the flap, it's black inside, which I like a lot more than a, a white box. Kind of makes it a little more classy. And the, the fragrance sits inside like that. And, of course, here it is. It's a nice, compact bottle. And very classy, very masculine. Square is associated with that for me. I find square bottles to be masculine and very classy. Just, just simple, also. Um, of course, the artwork and the... the the graphic on the bottle front is pretty uh, embellished and ornate, but everything else about this is uh, pretty uh, simple and you know straight lines and all that good stuff. And then the cap here is heavy duty and it attaches and lifts up pretty easily, but you have to pull it a little bit, but it's tight on there. So, um, and then the sprayer, let's go ahead and spray it. I haven't sprayed it out of here. As I was saying, I've been using this one right here. And uh, Leader 6 was one of the fragrances I enjoyed from that sample of fragrances that I did a, a first impressions for. So spraying it goes, it's, yeah, it sprays great. It's the first time I'm spraying it out of this bottle. And uh, of course, this is a, a brand from Berlin that was re relaunched several years ago, I think about five years ago. Originally, the brand was around in the early 1900s, probably. Uh, around that time somehow, I think, uh, is when they were pretty big. It's a big uh, company. I learned about this company in Berlin while I was there, and uh, they were pretty big in Berlin, and actually it's kind of all uh, closed down. I think they, they, they closed down the, the operation in the 70s. I thought they had gone under around World War II, but from what I found out, it was the 70s. So it's been brought back. And this is one of their later offerings, 2015, as I said. And this is all about leather. And of course, at the top, we've got that osmanthus with saffron and leather. I already associate saffron with leather. It's a little herbal, though. And of course, leather is at the top. You get leather right away. But this is a unique leather. And even though there's no fruit mentioned here, it's fruity to me. Fruity, vanillic and also a bit milky because of that milk note and also a little bit smoky from the incense note. But the note of Osmanthus in here is, we've talked about Osmanthus before in other fragrance reviews, and Osmanthus is a, a flower that uh, makes, Osmanthus makes things um, 
fruity, like it has a fruity smell. Here, I think most of the time osmanthus is more like stone fruit, like apricot or peaches. I'm getting a combo of apricots, peaches, and of course also plum here. So it's a fruity uh, leather scent, but you're not getting an ultra fruity fragrance. It still is about the leather, but the leather is not harsh. It's soft, suede-like, and of course, uh, it's smooth. It's, it's like really, really smooth. And of course, the, the vanilla and the milkiness also smooth it out even further, but as it's going through the, dar uh, the, the base notes, it's getting a bit darker and it's getting smokier and that, at that time. So the smoothness kind of disappears a little bit as it dries down to the base note, life of the fragrance. So it's very, very smooth in the heart. When you, when you first spray it, it's fruity with the leather and saffron, but it gets much smoother in the heart. And of course, as it's drying down, as I said, it gets a little more, uh, a slight bit rougher with this um, incense and uh, styrax note. I'm a huge fan of leather fragrances and there's a ton of leather fragrances out there. A lot of them do have that fruitiness in there. Some have raspberries, some have uh, dried fruits, and this is definitely more on the drier side, but it's acting more like the stone fruit, as I mentioned, peaches and apricots, and of course, plums. So if you like that kind of a leather, this is probably gonna excite you and you're going to want to enjoy wearing it. And also, if you want something a little more close to the skin, a little more cozy, this acts very, very cozy to me, and I think it's because of the milk and vanilla. Those two notes I associate with coziness, and so it's very, very relaxed. It's not a rough, uh, it's not a rough uh, kind of a leather. Even though this might actually come off a bit like it's a rough and more sexy, and even though it is sexy, it's not like the, the sleazy kind of sexy, if that makes sense. It is uh, more like sensual sexy, so that's what I like about this leather fragrance. It's different from others, but then again, it's not like over the top different. So you're gonna be a little familiar with the note, but then it's not definitely like something I've uh, sampled before. It's leather, it's unique, it's fruity, it's milky, it's vanillic, and I, I like that kind of a fragrance. And even though sometimes some leather fragrances can get really, really harsh, here it's getting really, really smooth and cozy. So that's what I like about Leader 6 by J.F. Schwarzlaws of Berlin. Now, have you sampled this brand, guys? Are you familiar with this brand? As I said, it's a house out of Berlin. It's been launched around five years now, I think. And uh, they are currently sold at Lucky Scent. And I think there might be another store selling them very, very soon, perhaps one store here in San Francisco. As of this time, I'm not really aware that they are selling the, the fragrances there yet but I'll definitely put links in the info box and you can check them out. Pick up samples, as I say, I recommend samples. Even though I might like a fragrance, I, my taste is completely different than other people's tastes. So uh, perhaps if you like leather fragrances, then you know, my taste might go along with your taste, but I'm recommending this leather fragrance but you might not like leather fragrances and this might come off a bit animalic to you. Even though I don't associate this leather uh, fragrance with you know, an animalic smelling leather fragrance. But always get samples or decants and test them out before jumping on a full bottle. But if you think you'll, you might like it and you're confident that you like this kind of scent, go for the full bottle because I think um, you will like this one. Now, as far as seasons go, I find this uh, J.F. Schwarzlaws of Berlin Leader 6 perfect for fall and winter and perhaps spring, but I don't find this one easy to wear in the summertime unless you're in a cool summer environment. So definitely perfect for fall, great for winter, and great for spring. But I, I associate this one with fall for some reason, and I think it's that fruity accord from the Osmanthus note. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. Now on to the giveaway and JF Schwarzlaws of Berlin is doing six total uh, giveaway prizes. Three on this channel and three subscribers will get a chance to win a 10 mil of liter six like this as you can see I've been wearing. Now if you also are in my Facebook group looking feeling smelling great, 
There we will also host another giveaway with three more prizes. So if you're here and there, you'll have, a ch you'll have two chances of winning uh, one of these. But if you're here, uh, you'll have the one chance, of course. And make sure you're subscribed to this channel. And please put a comment down and let me know what you like about this fragrance and what your favorite leather fragrance is currently. This is only available to subscribers of this channel. So please make sure you're subscribed and we'll run the randomizer and select the first three people to win the three giveaway prizes. All right, guys, let me know what your thoughts are on this house, JF Schloss Laws of Berlin. Have you tried any fragrances from this house? Are you curious to try them? Have you sampled them? Please let me know so we can get a conversation started. Also, please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye.